Trudy and I'm with Moms for Liberty and we're out here because uh, Montgomery County Public Schools has taken away the parents rights to opt their children out of any kind of family life and human sexuality uh, lessons and originally they had said they were going to have the opt-out and then what happened was too many people wanted to opt out so they took that right away from them. They took that right, right, right away from the parents, and so we're like, no, that's not okay. We need that right to be put back in. There needs to be an opt out. It's only fair. If if people want to teach that to their children, you know, that's fine. We're we're okay with that. We just want there to be an opt out for people that don't want their children to learn specific things, whatever things they are, whatever things they're uncomfortable with, and that they would rather teach their children. What would be your message to these folks on the opposite side of the street? I know the police are kind of separating you, but they were here in front of you. Well, we've been in front of them for a long time, but and they call us very nasty names, and they call us bigoted and transphobic and homophobic and all whatever phobic, whatever else they can call us, um, and we're not. You know, we love everybody. We think everybody should just, you know, be able to do what they want to do. We just don't feel like there should be certain ideologies shoved down our kids' throats. And we're talking especially very little children, four or five year olds. You know, they don't come up with this stuff on their own. You know, this is something that has to be suggested to them over and over and over again. And, you know, that should not be something that other people have the right to shove down our kids' throats. We want to raise them the way we feel they should be raised. We're their parents. And they claim Christian values is something being pushed on them, but we're not preaching in schools either. We're right. not preaching the gospel. We're not right. reading scripture to them either. And, you know, as a homeschooler, I praise God that I pulled him out eight years ago, and hopefully we can, we're gonna graduate him this year. So, That's fantastic. Yeah. are oppose, opposing what we're doing. All they have are, are name calling and smearing and, and giving us insults and yelling at us and trying to intimidate us. They have they don't come over and have a conversation. They they do not they cannot defend the indefensible. So they use these tactics to try to silence us. And just to be clear, if I could, Moms for Liberty has lots of different members. And I think that there's been a real effort by the media to portray us as this all right, all Christian, all white. It's not the case. We've got members of all different faiths. We have members who are gay. We have chapter chairs who are gay. We have members who have gay kids. This has nothing to do with gay rights. This has to do with the fact that our children are being indoctrinated in our schools and we've had enough. Today there's a protest. There's a group uh, called Miles for Liberty and Billboard Chris that are out here to protest. There's a counter group, Rainbow Defense Coalition, that came out to show their support for their cause, and that's where we're at. And uh, are you worried about anything happening here today? I hope not. I've talked to the, I've talked personally to Billboard Chris, members of Moms of Liberty. I've talked with a member of Rainbow Defense Coalition. Everybody's told me that they're not here for a confrontation with the other group. They're here to, you know, express their views. We're here to support people, make sure they have the right to express their views by the First Amendment and uh, make sure nobody's violent. Yeah. You know, I, as long as people stick to their word today, we shouldn't have any problems. And so far, people are staying on the two sides, they're not interacting, and that's what we want. If we want a peaceful protest, people have an opportunity to speak their mind, say their peace, and do so peacefully. And I'm guessing you all have no stance on what's going on right between their... No, I'm not, I'm not here to pick sides. I'm here to monitor behavior. I'm concerned about the behavior we see from people. And, you know, right now, to be honest, the biggest concern is you see there's a lot of traffic here. It's wet out. We've had rain. I don't want anybody getting run over. So, you know, I want everybody to be safe and go home safe.
The fact is, the kids are not learning to read in American public schools, and it's about time that we start focusing on the basics instead of all this other garbage that obviously parents are against. 70% of Americans, when you ask them whether or not they want this being taught to their children, gender identity, sexual orientation instruction, 70% of Americans say no. back against this indoctrination and you're seeing people come together across religious lines, across political lines, across racial lines, saying we're parents, we know what's best for our children, parents have the fundamental right to raise their children, to direct their upbringing, and we're going to stand together on this issue. And when parents come together and we fight together on this, we are unstoppable. Well, so this isn't just about Gaithersburg High School. This is about Montgomery County and the state of Maryland. Okay? We just can't go to all the schools at once, so we had to choose location. They need to stop teaching gender identity to children. That should not be discussed in schools. Kids shouldn't be learning that they might have been born wrong. That's an abusive thing to tell a child. The body positive message we should be sending is that our children are all, are all beautiful just as they are. But there's no right way to be a boy or a girl. And so if a girl is a tomboy, guess what? She's a beautiful girl. She's not a boy on the inside. That is total nonsense. So they need to stop teaching gender identity. They need to stop hiding from parents that they're transitioning children behind their backs. They're drawing up what are called gender support plans throughout the state of Maryland without telling the parent. So they do what's called a social transition or a psychological transition where the child has a new name and pronouns. And they're hiding this from parents just on the basis that the parent might not agree that the parent might be abusive to their own child. Well, guess what? All these teachers are already mandatory reporters to CPS. If they think there's abuse going on at home, they have to report it. But on this issue, the only one in the world, they treat parents as though they're automatically a threat to their own child, and they keep secrets from these parents. I've heard that it sounds like a policy that's being advocated for is the ability to opt out of this kind of material. They should be. Do you, do you see that as sufficient to opt out option, or do you think that it should be there? Like, it should be everyone's option. It shouldn't be there at all. But obviously, as a first step, parents should have the ability to opt their child out. But they say they can't do that because they say they're not explicitly teaching gender identity. It's included in anti-bullying and inclusive programs, things like that. And that's the way they kind of get around that. They just they say there's not a set lesson plan. It's just all about inclusivity. And, you know, every child should see their own family when they come to school, they say. So if a child has two moms, that should be represented in the books and all that sort of stuff. This isn't about sexuality. I don't think they should be teaching that either. The main focus is about gender identity. But there's no such thing as a transgender child. This shouldn't be in any of the books. This is confusing kids, and it's taking children who have other mental health comorbidities and kids who are on the spectrum, and it's leading them to believe that the reason they feel a little different is because they have a different gender identity. And that's very damaging.